All new tonight, we've just uncovered that while SWAT crews were at a bogus hostage situation, more than 150 911 calls were being made in Montgomery County. Hi, I just shot my girlfriend. Her parents are tied up in the bathroom right now. I don't know what to do. German Township Police and the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, including hostage rescue and SWAT teams, raced to that home in EB Road. After more than two hours, they put a teenager in handcuffs. So what happens if you're having an emergency during a hoax? Will you have to wait for help? Our Christian Hauser is live with the answer. Christian? Well, Megan, honestly, the short answer is yes and no. If you're in a life or death situation, officials that I spoke to today say that a standoff situation like this morning will not slow them down from getting you the help you need. But if you're not in an emergency situation that's life or death, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Hoax calls like the one this morning can keep officers off the street for several hours. Oh, man. I, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I'm, I'm freaking out. I think I'm just going to shoot her parents. Until emergency crews figure out it's a false alarm. But what about the other 154 calls that came into the regional dispatch center? Would someone having an emergency have to wait even longer? If there's an emergency, um, an incident like today is not going to completely shut us down. We're still going to find people that are going to be able to respond to that emergency. But if it's a lower priority call, not an emergency, you could end up waiting longer than the normal response time. But it's about more than just that delayed response to some calls, though. It's not only is it a waste of time, it's certainly a waste of money um, when you have so many resources that are tied up. But more importantly, you have lots of people that are putting themselves in jeopardy to respond there quickly with lights and sirens. Today's hoax was called in as an extremely dangerous situation. And Captain Haynes knows it easily could have ended tragically. Anytime you have um, such a high risk type thing going on, there is a chance that somebody innocent is going, going to be injured or, or killed. So what about the men and women who drive these emergency vehicles? Who covers that cost? Well, on top of charges for the guy who called 911, Captain Haynes says that the county can also look at recouping at least some of that money, which ultimately comes out of our pockets, to pay back the county. For now, they're reporting live in Miami Township. Christian Hauser, ABC 22 Now. Christian, thank you. So how many of the calls dispatchers take are actually fake? Well, Captain Haynes says it's a very small number out of the more than one million calls that go through that regional dispatch center. And it's also extremely rare to have a call rise to the level of the one this morning. But he says right now there's no way to keep track of how many the dispatchers have to deal with.